Oh, fuck. Hey. Uh-uh. Oh, Karen, Karen, it's me, it's Dave. Do you remember? We kind of dated a little, sorry I didn't call. You don't have any food or supplies. I don't, but would you have opened the door if I hadn't said that? Come on. How's your cat? We had to eat him, Dave. It's the apocalypse. Shit. Yeah, get off my porch. OK, yeah, happy to. Thank you so much for the invitation. That's I... not what I meant, Dave. God damn coffee? it. Karen, what did I tell you about letting in random strangers? Did you at least check them for weapons? Yeah. No. I'm not a stranger, though, technically, so that's a loophole. Dave Beck. I would have thought you'd died by now. Nope. Still alive. How do you two know each other? We dated. We fucked. Oh! Oh, that is great. That is just great. Are you serious? I don't really need your shit right now, Chad. We went on, like, two dates that I definitely paid for. Hold on. I would have paid for at least my food, but I didn't have a boss that ever gave me a raise. Why would I give a raise to someone who takes a piss right. in the water cooler and stops showing up for work? I showed up sometimes, and the piss was yellow Gatorade. We shouldn't have that tension still. I was trying to raise morale. Man, you always talked about... Sorry, raising morale. And fucking Verizon store is so boring, man. Who can feel good selling cancer to people, you know? Cell phones are fucking bullshit, excuse me. Tell me this, who stopped showing up for work without giving anyone a heads up? I told Scott to tell you. Well, Scott didn't tell me. Fucking take it up with Scott. He's an asshole, man. Should I maybe talk to Scott about it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably do. I, I can't, you know why? Because Scott died. <laughs> Saving my life. Mm. I'm sorry. That man, man was a brother to me. I'm glad you're alive. <clears throat> you guys hungry too? That was super awkward, that. Oh, shit. You know what, Dave? You can have that one can of pineapple, but then you gotta leave. I mean, Karen, I just need a place that's warm to sleep. You can't stay here. It would be weird. Chad and I... That's kinda... not weird. That's fine. That's... Look, going out that door and, fu and fucking dying with my intestines outside of my body where they're not supposed to be, that's weird. You and Chad, that's cool, man. I'm cool, Chad. Hey, Chad, Chad's cool. You can't stay because you aren't trustworthy. And trustworthy people don't take pineapple chunks without asking. She gave that can of pineapple to me. Highly doubt it. I said he could have. She just told you she did. Mm, didn't hear it. Look. Okay, I hurt you guys. I didn't know that, and now I do know that. You know, the shit's illuminated that wasn't illuminated to me before. And I'm sorry, from the deepest part of my heart, I'm sorry. You don't want to live with that on your conscience that you, like, killed a human being? I'm flesh and blood, man. All I, right, I, all right, parents. all right. Maybe I was being a little hasty. That's fantastic. Thank you. I knew you guys would come around. So should we open this and, like, get chunked? Ah! Oh, God. Bastards! Hey, God! Ah! They're at the gate! Roger! Roger! Holy shit, we're completely fine. Dave. <sighs> Humphreys Middle School, must be 15 years. Dave, I want you to stay with us. That's what I want. But first, mm -hmm. I think we should clear the air about Rachel. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't agree more, man. Rachel. Rachel. I saw you two holding hands. It's the last thing I remember before waking up in the asylum. <laughs> Was that an outpatient situation or? I've often wondered. I saw you again. Uh huh. But I strangled you. Mm. Okay. Oh, I hug you. <laughs> Dave! Mm. Dave's back! <laughs> Buddy. Buddy. It's so good to finally know the answer. Mm. Me too.
Yeah, Dave and Roger. Dave and Roger it up. Together forever. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Or was that, is that carpet? Oh yeah. You and Roger are old pals, huh? Yeah. We're pretty tight. Forgot how close we were. It's good to have someone watching your back, you know? You want a blanket? Yeah, you know, that would be really great. Oh, shit. This is this the blanket? Asshole, man. What? Are you stealing fucking food? I'm stealing it. It's my food. That's way worse than quitting a shitty job at Verizon. Okay, you know what? I had to cover all of your shifts. I missed the entire oh. season of Downton Abbey. Fuck Downton Abbey. I don't know how it ends. Fuck, Fuck Downton, Downton Abbey. Abbey. You... Downton Abbey is the shit. Move. Okay. Where? To the fucking living room. Okay. He he was stealing the food. He was okay. eating all the pineapple. Baby, you can't listen to this stuff. Things. Oh, so, yeah. baby. Okay. I said it plain as day. The next asshole I catch stealing food eats buckshot for dessert. I mean, I wasn't here for that. I didn't know. Really? Buckshot? OK, you know what? Look, we all got guns. See that? What's oh. that? That's a gun, Karen. That's me. I got the juice now. OK, I don't have a gun, so maybe I could get one and we could. Shut up, Dave. Dave. All right, guys. Everyone oh. shut up. I will not allow any more violence in this house. Who the fuck died and put you in charge? Roger Chad was eating all the pineapple. He was stealing it. OK, he only knows that because he was trying to steal it himself. You were in there stealing it all, so how could anyone else steal it? Plus, I didn't even know there was a rule against it. Oh, come it, on, Roger. you didn't know that. Of course there's a rule against stealing the pineapple. OK, everyone, I, we've all weighed in. I've heard the evidence. As pack leader, Chad, I have to ask you to leave. Look at this motherfucking windbag. You going to tell me what to do in my house? Oh, fuck. My house. Oh, fuck! What? Chad. Do you wanna, do you, I can clean this up or I can leave, but. Actually, I, uh, I think I'm just gonna go. Just, what, just, I'm gonna clean up myself and the guys here, okay? So you do your thing. So, uh, I guess just enjoy the house or whatever. I mean, you sure you don't want to stay here? Just, just, you know, this was emotional, I'm sure. Yeah, no, I'm good. Okay. Bye. Cheers. Hmm. I wonder. Once again, our top story. After nearly 40 days with no internet, officials say they have restored Wi-Fi services to two-thirds of American homes and should have the rest up and running by tomorrow. Yes, things certainly got dicey there. I grew this wicked beer. 